Hey guys, today I'm gonna be installing a home link module. From eBay, I got the part. It's this right here. It has the model number on it. And the mount and that one screw. This is all you need for the install. On eBay, it was around 140 bucks, I wanna say. And got delivered to me within a week, so I would be installing it. So first to take the front apart, you'll need a 10 millimeter on a ratchet or a drill. There are four bolts, one, two, three, four. And we'll be undoing this. Just until you can loosen them by hand. So once these four bolts have been removed, you basically pry up on this panel. This one is the emergency trunk release. Trunk release. So if I could get my hands behind here, you pull right here, these three clips and boom, it pops out. Then you wanna take this wire out. You just wanna push in right here and pull out. Push this green part, push in this tab right here and pull out. And now your front release is gone. So set this aside. Next, what you wanna do is pry up on this trim. It's just held in by some clips. Might be some loud pops and bangs, but that's normal. And just like that, you can take it out, set it somewhere safe. And after that, this tub is ready to go. So make sure you have somewhere set aside where you can put this off safely. Just like that. It's also a good idea to keep the screws in the front tub so that you don't lose them. So our main point of interest is a home link wire that they have hidden somewhere around here. And here it is. They have it taped up right here. And this is our home link wire. So what we want to do is take our module. See this wire right here? This plug can only go in one way. And just plug it in like that. And you'll hear a click. And just to make sure, we can push this red safety loop back in. So just leave it dangling right there. So what you want to do to get to the service mode is go to your menu, software, and hold your model for a few seconds and type the keyword service and then enter. From there, you want to hit low voltage and then home link. Test home link. And it says our home link test has passed, which means we're good to go. So now let's work on mounting the device where it belongs. So upon reviewing other videos, our module is supposed to go behind this windshield washer reservoir back there. So what we gotta do is undo a few bolts. One right here, one 10 millimeter right here, one 10 millimeter right there, and there's one more to the side down there. So let's get our wrench back here and undo these bolts. So one right here. These just come out fairly easily, not meant to be contact me. One right here. Set this aside. Another one down here. Good to go. And one more down here on the side. 
So the way our module is going to be sitting is in this orientation. So it is going to be right behind this clip right here. This black portion needs to line up this hole. So the screw can align right here. Just like that. And we're gonna put our screw from the back side. I've heard it's gonna be tricky, but let's give it a shot. Oh wow, it is tight. One tip is that uh, underneath the bracket, you might wanna put a microfiber to catch the screw just in case it falls so we don't have to go hunting down for it later. So we can just place it right there and put this bracket in place so we can try to get the screw in that hole from the back side. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It took me uh, 20 seconds of finding out, but I just aligned the bracket back there and I'm twisting it with my index and middle finger. So it's still got some ways to go, but hey, Props to G from Test Bros for showing us how and where to put this, but if you just angle your hand like this, it's not that bad. Get into its location and boom, the other end of the screw is out. That wasn't bad at all. All right, I was able to get a small wrench in there and tighten it by just a little bit. So now that this is in, what we're gonna do is take that home link module, feed it through this cavity right here, and grab it on the other side. So feed it through here, and grab it right here. And the way that this goes onto the bracket is that clip goes right here at the top. So the Tesla logo should be facing the inside of the car. As soon as you slide it on here, you gotta push back and go here, click and it's locked in. So now you should be good. Now what you can do is put the windshield washer reservoir back, take the microfiber out, put this back, Put this pin through this hole so all the screws are on. Take your screws and hand thread them first, just to be safe. One goes right here. They always have a guide pin, so use that to help yourself out. Guide pin, guide pin here. And the last one in that tricky location, but hey, if we got this far, we can put it back. And we're good to go. And yes, the drill would be way easier and faster, but it's all plastic here, so just to be safe, I like going by hand. And just do a quick tight. Oh, that was pretty good. Good. Don't want to over tighten it again. Classic. Careful. Alright. These are all good now. We know everything's bolted secure. Let's put the front tub back. So just like we put it, we can do the reverse order of operations. Grab the front tub. Just be careful and place it down on in here. If you make sure the screw holes align up, the seal is flush, there are a few clips, we'll plug it down. And now these screws that we took, used before, start off by hand tightening them, just so that you screw the threads up. 
and you could take the ratchet to it. Grab the emergency release and plug that back in. Remember the tow hitch recovery point is at the bottom. Just simply plug it on back in. Bottom in first. And once you feel it go down, just push it and the clips are in and you're good to go. Last but not least, we can get the top cover on. Remember, it's just clips. And you're good to go. So we can go back on in, shut the front. And just to make sure, test home link again, and boom, we're good to go. So next, I'll show you how to program. So once you get back into the vehicle, you need to hit home link retrofit once again after the device is plugged in in order for it to work. So we can exit service mode after the vehicle reboots again. Love this interior uh, ambient lighting, by the way. There are the emergency lights for when the screen is out. So we can shift and drive if we so desire to. So to program home link, first of all, when you exit service mode and hit the garage icon, you might only see link to my queue. And to get home link on there, you have to step out of the car, walk away for maybe 30 seconds and walk back in. And then when you tap it again, you'll see both link to my queue and create home link so once you create home link you will be brought to the screen what you need at this moment in time is your garage door remote and a ladder to hit the learn button on your garage door so once you hit continue you'll be brought to the screen and when you hit continue again you want to go in front of your car right in front of the bumper where you hit put the home link module you want to hold the button for that specific garage door that you want to open until the headlights flash once that means the car has learned the radio signal given by your garage remote transmitter now for your transmitter to get learned you have to hit the learn button for my genie garage door opener i had to hold the square button four times i know for lift master you just have to press the learn button once so depending on your model you might have to make the garage door opener learn differently so once it is set up you just have to go press your garage you might have to press it three four times in order to get it work but from there on out, you can set it how you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. And I hope to catch you next time.